Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express ordered today and it ships today. Here's an interesting story resulting from the ban on Belarusian and Russian players at Wimbledon. How do you beat the ban? You rebrand. That's what one player did. Natella Zalamadze, who is from Moscow, will get to play at Wimbledon because she actually changed her nationality and is now representing the country of Georgia. Her player page on the WTA website confirms it. The 29-year-old doubles player has won two WTA titles playing for Russia, ranked a career-high number 43 in doubles. She officially changed her nationality, and as we tape today's news, she is set to play Wimbledon doubles, partnering with Alexandra Kunic. Other players like world number one, Daniel Medvedev, Andre Rublev, and Arena Sabalenka will not be allowed to play because they did not change nationalities. But apparently, if you do, you can play. It's a bit of a loophole. In a statement to the Times of London, Wimbledon officials said player nationality, defined as the flag they play under at professional events, is an agreed process that is governed by the tours and the ITF. Since the WTA tour recognizes Nutella as playing for Georgia, so too does Wimbledon. By the way, in case you're wondering, the U.S. Open has no such ban. Players from Russia and Belarus can compete, but under a neutral flag. Other changes at Wimbledon, players are breaking in center court and court number one during practice week. Previously, those courts were always closed for practice, but because of a lot of tumbles last year on the grass, Officials want to try to minimize injury risks and make those courts a little less slick. So limited practice on the courts may help. Remember last year, several players went down, including Serena Williams, Novak Djokovic, Andy Murray, and Nick Kyrgios. Serena was actually injured and forced to retire from her opening match. Novak Djokovic said he had never fallen so many times at Wimbledon. Last year, though, there had been lots of rain in London and the roofs were closed for the first couple of days, which created a lot of humidity and contributed to the slick conditions. So with a little practice on those courts this time around, perhaps the players will be more comfortable. I'm Grace Carter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.